My name is Inspector Pride. Interpol. I'm keeping my eyes on the following criminals. Their weapons, the rooms they occupy. I suggest you do the same. Excuse me. Hey, Plum. Look what I found. Just lifted off the guy that's been hanging around. They're on to you. Look, Green, you got to help me get out of the country. I don't got to do nothing. Your picture's on page 27. We got to get out of the country. Get out. Mm. Yes? Do you want me to turn down the bed? Why? Is it too loud? <laughs> oh. Switch on the radio, dear. <gasps> when will you be leaving us, ma'am? On the very next flight. And now the news. Police believe they are closing in on the whereabouts of the notorious Mrs. White. Maybe we can share a cab. Good idea. Hello, Brunette's restaurant, Monsieur Brunette speaking. About time we had a reservation. You know, this idea of going straight... Shh! I'm afraid there is no Brunette here. <laughs> no, 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 I said uh, Brun... Uh, Hilda, yeah, this is Monsieur Brunhilde. <laughs> Sorry, wrong number. What's up, sugar? Internal revenue. I told you we shouldn't have filed last year. Miss Peach, shut up and peck. <gasps> Con games weren't good enough for you. Now it's time to go straight. I made a mistake. Shoot me. Later. I got a pack. There's a newspaper in the bottom of this cage. Extraordinary. Colonel Mustard, we must call off the mission. Scarlet, please. This is my first spy job in years. I am in charge. We must contact our control in Paris. Paris, hmm? Oh, dear. my bill. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, give the change. Uh, don't you want to leave a forwarding address or something? Are you kidding? Oh, uh, uh, wait a minute. You forgot your, forgot your rope. Uh, Madam Rose, you forgot your rope. Hello again. Now, welcome to Parker Brothers VCR clue game. Murder in disguise. The object of the game is to discover who are the murderers and victims, the room in which each murder took place, and which weapon was used. Let's start with an introductory game. The detective fact sheet will help you keep track of what you learned. So, everybody, take one now. I said everybody. Okay. First off, let's ignore the section on the left that says players. That's my favorite part of the game, but we'll save that till later. We're going to play game one. So let's look it up in the case book. It says here we have three murders. That's three victims, three different murderers, three rooms, and three weapons. That means to win the game, you must complete the first three lines of this accusation. And to do that, you need clues. There are three decks of clue cards and ten suspect picture cards. For this game, we'll use the blue clue cards only. Put all the other cards away. I'll explain them later. Now, deal out three cards to each player. Stop the tape until you finish dealing. The clue cards show facts numbered one to six, each pertaining to a different mystery game. We're playing game one, so only the facts numbered one on your cards will count for this game. The initials at the right tell you whether a fact concerns a murderer, victim, weapon, or room. And at the end of each fact is a scene number to which it refers. All the facts in game one refer to the introduction, so if you remember what you've just seen, you can start to solve the mystery right now. 
Grab a pencil, and we'll do it together. I have a fact that says the woman who opened the door committed murder with the candlestick. That makes Mrs. Peacock a murderer. And her weapon was the candlestick. Now mark all that down on your fact sheet. Let's try another. The weapon held by Monsieur Brunette was used to commit murder in the lounge. Well, Brunette held the candlestick. So that means the candlestick was used in the lounge. I can note that by connecting them. But if I know that Peacock used the candlestick, and the candlestick was used in the lounge, Mrs. Peacock killed someone in the lounge. I can enter all that right here in the accusation. But who was it she knocked off? Another fact. The man who held up the papers died in the room with the birdcage. Plum had the papers, so he's a victim. But where was that birdcage? I'll make a note till I recall. That's it, the lounge. Plum died in the lounge. Now that makes him Peacock's victim. And we've solved one of the three murders in this game. Take a few minutes now to read the facts on your clue cards. See what you can learn about the other two murders. And note it down on your fact sheet. Don't worry if you can't remember everything. You'll get a chance to see the scene again. Play begins with the person on my left. What kind of information do you need most? Do you need a fact about a murderer, a victim, a weapon, or a room? Pick any other player and ask for the kind of fact you need. He or she must give you a card with that kind of fact. If that player doesn't have one, ask someone else. Instead of asking for a fact on your turn, you may replay the scene or pick a clue card from the deck. When you think you've solved the mystery, announce that you're ready to make an accusation. You may make an accusation at the end of your turn. Use this special red filter to check the solution in the case book. If you're right, announce your solution and dazzle us all. If you're wrong, you lose. Don't take any more turns, but keep your cards and stick around in case someone asks you for a fact. After you've played game one, you'll be ready for the big time, a full game. Return to the spot on the tape and I'll tell all. But right now, you've still got two murderers to catch. Now you're ready for a full game. Select the game from the casebook. You'll need the black suspect cards and the clue cards that match the chapter that you're watching. If this is your first full game, watch chapter one and play game two on the blue cards. The lower numbered games are easier. To play a full game, each of you will be one of the suspects. And to win the game, you must find out not only who done it, but who's who. So, everyone pick a suspect card. Look at it and put it where no one can see it. Then, without looking at them, put the remaining suspect cards back in the box and out of play. Your suspect card is your secret personal identity. As you watch the action, pay special attention to your suspect. The others will try to learn who you are by interrogating you, asking you a yes or no question. Your fact sheet will help you keep track of this information, so write your name here next to your suspect, and write the names of the other players in these columns to the left. Now, suppose I ask Sam, do you have a foreign accent? And he answers, yes. Well, that means I've narrowed down Sam's identity to three suspects. Colonel Mustard, Monsieur Brunette, and Madame Rose. Couldn't be Miss Scarlet, because that's me. The complete rules and hints for asking questions are in your detective casebook. Begin a full game by dealing out three clue cards to each player. Watch the first scene. At the end of each scene, you'll play a round of interrogations, followed by a round of turns. On your turn, you may do one of four things. You may ask another player for a fact about a murderer, victim, weapon, or room. You may replay a scene. You may interrogate another player. Or you may pick up a new clue card, as long as there are any left. With six or more players, 
it's a good idea to team up. The casebook tells you how. All the rules are in here, along with plenty of strategy tips. Look it over. Now, how to win a full game. You watched all five scenes and continued playing until you've gotten all the murderers, victims, weapons, and rooms written in on your fact sheet. At the end of your turn, look up the correct solution. If you're wrong, you lose. But stick around in case someone wants to ask you a question or get a fact from you. If you're right about the murders, the next step is to announce the other player's secret identities. Your opponents must confirm your identifications. If you're correct, then announce your solution to the mystery and win the game. If you get any of the identifications wrong, stop there. Play continues for one more suspense round. The other players take one more turn and may make an accusation if they wish. Anyone who can on this last turn solve the mystery and correctly identify all the players steals the win away from you. If no one can do this, then you must be the best detective after all. On your next turn, complete the accusation and win the game. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have killers to catch. And so do you. When last we saw our suspects, They'd all flown the coop. Well, here we are. And just where is here? Paris? What are we doing in Paris? Uh, I found this job, so oh. don't thank me. I won't. Colonel Mustard, Miss Scarlett. Who? Uh, you must have us mixed up. If you're mixed up, that's your problem. What are you two doing in Paris? What are we doing in Paris? Is that where we are? A uh, scholar here belongs to a frequent flyer program. We had to use up the miles. Oh, clear. No one can find us here. Where in the heck are we? Paris, honey. I suppose you're wondering what we're doing here. The business convention. What business? Now your business. I could use a stiff drink. Oh, that was Murray. He was my fifth. Arsenic. Cyanide. I love cyanide. <laughs> Blackmail is my specialty. I know, dear. You're a maid. It's a bloody reunion. Hello. Bartender. Martini's all round. Yes, sir. My, what a coincidence. Well, to be perfectly honest, you don't have to be. both of us are on the lam. What a coincidence. That bartender. Inspector Price, somehow he told us. And got here before we did. Oh, he's good. <laughs> well, after 14 husbands, someone's bound to get suspicious. People are so narrow minded. Pay attention. We need disguises. <laughs> Steal yourself a suitcase. From where? Be a darling and take this for me. <laughs> you hoo everybody! It's Madame Rose. About time. How's the seance game, Rosie? Oh, I had to get away. A psychic malpractice suit. Oh, 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 oh. Is that everyone? But I don't think so. One of us is missing. Sergeant Gray. The homicidal maniac! Well, we can certainly do without him. <laughs> Madam Rose! Oh, Madam Rose! Oh, no. Here. Forgot your rope. Sergeant Gray! Oh, by the way, uh, where am I? Paris! Thank you. Stop and play a round of interrogations. Then take one regular turn before viewing this scene. This is insupportable. Stuffing three of us into one room. There is a hotel shortage. So they say. Why are you so irritatingly cheerful? I like having company. Do you mind if I take the upper? At least you're not forced to work everywhere you go. We all work one way or another. About those stolen suitcases. That's not my department. I'm going to have to buy all new clothes. Scarlet, good news. Ego wants us to come. Shh, not now. Yes, now. He's got an assignment for us. Bastard. Look, I'm a decent spy, Scarlet. This is my chance to prove myself. What's wrong? 
<laughs> uh, just kidding about all that spy nonsense. Pry will never recognize us. I just hope nobody else recognizes us. So crime isn't always glamorous. Not in these outfits. You look good in blue. He makes me nervous. Gray, he's all right, as long as his amnesia holds out. Yeah, but what happens if he suddenly remembers he's a homicidal maniac? Boy, here, my dams. How's it going? <laughs> you don't wear that while serving. It helps with the tips. Why do we have to work? I'm an artiste. A con artiste. So? As soon as we save up a nest egg, we'll go back into business. Now, take care of your customers. It's just those two ugly women. Then here. Put this out for the rats. I'm a uh, policeman. So it seems. Uh, Sergeant uh, Gray. Nice to meet you. Uh, have I met you ladies before? <laughs> what do you remember? <sighs> Nothing. Good. Can we have our check, please? Just hold your horses. <laughs> oh, you poor darling. What happened? Did you hurt yourself? I'll be all right. No bones broken. We should take you into the ladies' room just to make sure. That man seems to be injured. He'll live. We should get a bellboy to clean up this mess. It's rat poison, too. Someone should clean it up. Bellboy! Is there a bellboy around? Bellboy? I'm awfully sorry, sugar. You all right? Sure. Anything I can do for you? A uh, pardon? I'm the bellboy. I guess. Oh! Then you can stop by cleaning up this man. He's not the bellboy. Stop and play a round of interrogations. Then take one regular turn before viewing this scene. I demand to hmm. see the manager. I'm afraid that's impossible. I was robbed in your hotel. These things happen. Not to me. I was forced to purchase all new clothes, not to mention a brand new suitcase. Here are the receipts. I expect the hotel to pay every penny. No skin off my nose. I'm standing right here until the manager comes. Suit yourself. You remember the instruction? Of course I do. Give me the suitcase. No! Igor gave it to me. You have a habit of botching things. I want to do this on my own. Please, Scarlett. I, I won't let you down. I am too kind-hearted. <laughs> I had a good one. Now, uh, why don't you go off and enjoy Paris? I could use a manicure. Uh, have there been any messages? No messages. Really? Where is the manager? He went out to lunch. You are the most irritating woman. No messages. Ah, oh, well. No skin off mine. Oh. Bellboy! No wonder she loses suitcases. Take this to the lady in blue. Right away. Ma'am, here's your suitcase. Hey, you don't have to tip me. I won't. A nice, friendly game. It's been a long time, Rosie. You're dressing better these days. Is the mob still chasing you? They want their money back. I'm betting on Madame Rose. Which one? The one in the turban. <laughs> the fat one. <laughs> the one that needs a shave. <laughs> the short one. You get yourself a bit. Mr. Green. Thank you. It could happen to anyone. You called me Mr. Green. <gasps> Why, it is Mr. Green. Who else? Why are you dressed up like that? That man from Interpol. The bartender. What? An Interpol agent? <sighs> Inspector Pry, he follows here from the States. Sounds dangerous. We could always kill him. <laughs> and have all Interpol after us? Just a suggestion. <gasps> I have an idea that might work. Where's the hotel manager? Hotel manager? Yes, I need to get the keys from the hotel manager. 
Someone call for the hotel manager. Oh, no. oh. How can I be of help? Stop and play a round of interrogations. Then take one regular turn before viewing this scene. <laughs> You're never going to get it back. I don't need this anymore. Go away. It's the maid. I've got to make up your room. Just a minute. Yeah, hold on. I haven't got all day. I could have been naked. Don't threaten me. Hi. Sergeant Bray is handing out suitcases. Uh, you can jump at the sky. Spry is onto us. You're kidding. What are we going to do about him? I don't know. Well, we've got to do something. I think Miss Peach is working on an idea. She's good. Mm -hmm. Well, meanwhile, uh, I'm going off to do a little counting. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Has anybody seen an old brown... Oh, there it is. That's yours? I could have sworn I heard it ticking a while back. Nonsense. It's mine. I'll show you. This is my gun, my clothes, my, my. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for this room. Fatter than a drum. What the devil are you up to? Can you keep a secret? The Peach came up with a way to keep Inspector Pry out of the hotel. I thought I heard someone snooping around. I borrowed the keys. The plan is to lock all the doors and windows and then lure him out the front. And lock the door behind him. What good will that do? It'll buy some time. You want to help or not? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Following orders. We're supposed to hide the contents of the suitcase and then vamoose. It was full of women's clothing. You idiot. Now I can see you. I did want to hide some of these. <laughs> Where is the bomb? Are you referring to that chiffon number? There was a bomb in there. We were supposed to blow up the hotel. Nobody tells me anything. We have to find that bomb. Where the heck is my money? I'm the hotel manager. Perhaps I can use some help? I put a lot of years into stealing that money. The mob knows I stole that money. Who stole my money? What kind of a maniac would steal from Lyman Green? A crazy maniac. Just wait like getting my hands on him. Maniac? Stop and play a round of interrogations. Then take one regular turn before viewing this scene. Brunetto chap, uh, you haven't by any chance seen a stray bomb lying about? A bomb? Not lately, no. I'm making discreet inquiries. I heard. Uh, no one's seen the bomb. When was it set to go off? Midnight. Uh, plenty of time. Where is that blasted bartender? Are you talking about Inspector Pry? <laughs> He's an undercover man from Interpol. Good heavens. We can't have him snooping about. Well, you don't need to worry. We got him to go outside, then we locked all the doors and we down. And there isn't any way he can get in. <laughs> uh, by the way, have you two by any chance seen... Uh, the Colonel and I were discussing explosives. Uh, right out. Have you seen any good bombs lately? Somebody stole my suitcase. Oh, that's too bad. Would you like us to help you look for it? No, I'll find it myself. Good luck. He thief. Looks like someone made a killing. He will if you tell him about this. Sergeant Gray is out there frothing at the mouth. Someone must have reminded him that he's a homicidal maniac. Oh, what a... Bother. I located the bomb. 
Sergeant Gray's got his hands on it. What? <clears throat> Don't fret. It's not set to go off till midnight. Bad news. Gray is a maniac again. No. But don't you see? He's got a boom. No. But he's reset the timer. It's going to go off any minute. That's news to me. With the nearest exit. <laughs> time. Why is everything wrong? Open the door. Serves him right. The girl's got Inspector Pry locked out. Oh, she mad. Locked out? Locked in. Wait, who's got the keys? Where are the keys? Where's my suitcase? Oh. Hi, I've got this big key ring with all the keys to the building. Oh. Has anybody seen it? No. Not to worry, I found the key ring. Oh. Good show. Where is it? We have to get out of here right away. Sergeant Gray's got it. Sergeant Gray! He is a maniac. And he's got the boom. He's the wolf. And we're all locked in, you Stupid broads! Stop the tape and keep taking turns. There are no more interrogation rounds, but you can still ask a question during your regular turn. Somehow our friends managed to survive Paris. Several days later, many miles away. So, this is Tangiers, huh? That's what it says. <laughs> Not the best kept hotel. Well, anything beats that dump in Paris. The one with the bomb? Of course, the one with the bomb. We all would have been blown up if the men hadn't grabbed Madame Rose here and used her as a battering ram. I know that. I know you know it. Then why are you explaining it like this? For the audience. Oh. Can we afford this place? Oh, don't worry about money, dear. We've got plenty. Where did you get plenty of money? M -m 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 Mr. Green. That is a very good question. Yes, all of our money got blown up in Paris. Oh, another. Hi, Rose. Good job with the battering ram. How did you all get here? Sergeant Gray, the homicidal <laughs> lady? He thinks he's a travel agent. Got a group right on a freighter. Let's not talk about the freighter. We spent the last of our cash getting here. Why are you dressed up? We're wanted by the French police now, too. For blowing up the hotel. This isn't our week. What's this you were saying about money? We just happened to have cash in our pockets when the building went up. Lucky you. If you could see your way clear, the rest of us could use a little learn. My bar tab. We're unable to pay our bills. Now wait, now, as your travel agent, I Shut guarantee up. you. Okay. Sorry, old friends. No loans. <laughs> Looks like you're all going to have to work for a living. We work. Very hard. She means legitimate. Well, that's another story. I've never been trained to do anything legal. I refuse to beg from a maid. Come on, brunette. Let's see if this sand trap could use some extra stuff. I'm depressed. Let's all look on the bright side. I'm waiting. Inspector Pry. Where? At least we got away from Inspector Pry. You had me scared there for a minute. Oh, no. Where's some service around here? I want a room. And I want it now. It's Inspector Pry. I know that. We all know that. I'm telling the audience. The audience knows that. Oh. Stop and play a round of interrogations. Then take one regular turn before viewing this scene. <laughs> you missed the wrinkle. Hey, now don't get touchy. We all got to work now. I don't see you doing anything. I'm the house detective. Good choice. Out of my way! Oh! Hold this. Ah! There you go. Am I supposed to be grateful? You who may! My name is not you. When you finish up here, my room could use a little dusting. You're enjoying this. 
You could do something useful and hang up my clothes. I'd like to hang something. That's my favorite brand of cigar, and he knows it. Where did they get money? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Your dinner will be here any minute, sir. We're sorry about the delay. Our chef, he is new. <laughs> He's going to make trouble. We'll see. Is this seat taken? I don't like eating alone. I'll be my guest, Madame Rose. Oh, you know my name. I am a medium, strictly amateur. Would you mind terribly if I read your palm? Oh, I'd enjoy that. <laughs> Good. Oh, 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 oh. mealy bugs. Mm. He won't make any trouble. We need to knock him off. We need a busboy to set the tables. We haven't got a busboy. Hi there. Having a little trip to the Casbah. I thought you guys might want to join us. We have a terrific time. Uh. Oh. Who am I? You are a busboy. Bus set the tables. Table. Enough of his infernal snooping. Uh, uh, this is for our Inspector Pry. About time. Enjoy your meal. Looks delicious. Ah, such good service, without even ordering. Excuse me. That's Mr. Pry's meal, darling. Oh, that's all right. Ladies first. Oh, no, I wouldn't want to take your lunch. I've lost my appetite. Oh, no, no, please, Mr. Pry, no, 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 this is for I'm you. Really I made this especially no, for no, you. No, no, no. Oh. Stop and play a round of interrogations. Then take one regular turn before viewing this scene. Back in Paris, I lost a suitcase. How careless of you. You and the other two uh, maybe found a suitcase full of unmarked bills? Hmm, nope. Good shot. I never thought you'd make that. Will you be staying for dinner, sir? The chef wants to know. I'm going out right after this game. I'm in Tangiers on... Business. Business. We cannot let Inspector Pryor leave the hotel. Why not? He is here on business. And to He intends to turn us all in. Like heck. I uh, used to keep a table in the lab. What's this? My shot. I made a mistake. What is up? We're stopping Inspector Prime. <laughs> More or less. You're a bungler green here. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Maybe we should postpone the game. I'll be back in a couple of hours. Sorry, Professor. <sighs> oh, excuse <sighs> me. He's going to go for the police. No way. Oh, Inspector Pry. Mrs. Peacock. <laughs> I hear you're leaving us. Oh, no, but I'll be back this evening with some friends. I see. That's no way to handle silverware. Oh. Hold it like this. Oh, stop it, you fool. Uh. Oh, that's smart. Uh. We have to prevent him from leaving. Miss Peach. Degrees. Uh, that hot, huh? Good. Oh, sorry. Just leave it to me. Oh. Oh. Sorry. I think 
think I've changed my mind about going out. Stop and play a round of interrogations. Then take one regular turn before viewing this scene. You won't get away with this. I'm an Interpol. <laughs> now we finally got him. What do we do? I say let's dump his body in the desert. No, no, no. That's asking for trouble. We're already in trouble, Sugar. Then let's give him an accident. <laughs> You've had a lot of experience in that department. How does Tomaine poisoning sound? <laughs> <laughs> we'll serve him up Colonel Mustard's tuna casserole. Oh, no. That's a family recipe. But is it lethal? Like the plague. We'd have to force feed him. I'll take care of that. But uh, that, that would make me a murderer. Is this something new? Not really. <sighs> then settle then. Seven o'clock in the dining room. <laughs> and if you'll excuse me now. You're not backing up, Mustard. Of course not. I have to start cooking. <laughs> Seven o'clock. <laughs> Domain poisoning. That's what they're planning. We cannot let them go through with it. Certainly not. Every agency in the world would be after us. What can we do? Does Pry look bribable? He looks upset. What are you saying? Well, the three of us have all this extra money. And there's no such thing as extra money. I say we use it to bribe Inspector Pry so that he leaves us alone. <gasps> Sounds good to I me. I don't know. Well, the Morocco police are strict when it comes to murder. I say we bribe the bugger. But how do we talk the others out of killing him? I don't think we can. I may just have a plan. The first group wants to kill him, and the second wants to give him cash. Bribing never works. Not with my money. Murder is not on my list. Anyone want some coffee? Get lost. Oh. So, we can't bribe him, and, and we can't kill him. We hold him for ransom. It's a good idea. It's lovely. We could split the ransom money three ways. Aren't we cutting the others in? Why? Why? They're our friends. Ha. Huh. And they have pride. True. I've got it. The first group is taking him to the dining room at seven. The second group is then planning. Are we cutting the cameraman in on this? No. Get lost. Stop and play a round of interrogations. Then take one regular turn before viewing this scene. Master, coming. Where's that tea I asked for? Oh. Here comes the airplane. <laughs> Any progress? He needs at least four ounces of it. <laughs> Impossible! Here, drink it while it's warm. What if we do it intravenously? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Maybe I'll poke him in the belly right before the airplane. That should take his breath away. <sighs> Good tea. Thanks. Maybe if we used a funnel. <gasps> hey! hey, hey. <laughs> I'll be out for a while. We'd uh, like to ask a little favor of you. Give him the money. Oh, not so fast. We'd like to bribe you, if that's all right. Bribe me? <laughs> they just want you to leave us alone. We don't mean anyone any harm. Not right this minute. Give him the money. This is all we have, and it is all yours. But I can't take a bribe. what I tell you? I have to do my job. Go after the other six. That should keep you busy. Loosen those ropes, they're too tight. It's a great deal of money. You could start your own Interpol. Now! Now what? You got him, Rose. I've almost oh. got it. Here, Plum, hand me the knife. Plum! Prefer Plum! He takes care of that. We have to get him out of here before all these others come too. And what are you clowns up to? Dag it! Oh, no! Hold on! Shoot! Not until I know more. Now that chair is hotel property. Is that all? Well, here, buy a new one. Wait a minute, it's not that easy. Never is. Uh, you're not a busboy anymore. Busboy! Don't be 
funny. Mm -hmm. Is that meant to be a bribe? Would it help? You don't know who you're talking to. <laughs> Could be anyone. <laughs> I'm Inspector Pry of Interpol. You're not Inspector Pry. He is. And he's getting away with our money. Oh, have you met everybody? Uh, Stop the tape and keep taking turns. There are no more interrogation rounds, but you can still ask a question during your regular turn. It's not easy traveling without money, but our ten suspects have found a way. Dear diary, how did we wind up in Rangoon? Well, we had to get out of Tangiers, and there was this freight train passing by the hotel, so we all hopped on. Little did we know. Fourteen days without a stop. Who would have thought? A Tangiers Rangoon Express. Are you sure this place is abandoned? <sighs> Seems abandoned. You broke into oh. an old hotel. Oh. Mr. Green managed to get the electricity on. Oh, an electrical genius. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I got my start. Hot wiring cars. Ah, to steal them. Yeah, blowing them up. <laughs> I mean, but it's perfectly safe. You can never tell. Well, all you have to do now is get the phones working. Yeah. I never blew up a phone. Oh, oh, no. If only one of us was a telephone repairman. Yes. I don't know what we'd do without Gray's amnesia. Oh, who am I? Telephone repair man, dear. Oh, I see. Uh, what exactly seems to be the problem? Well, we can't seem to get a dial tone. Oh, show it to me. Uh, uh, now, you realize that uh, uh, if the problem's with your instrument, I'm going to have to charge you. I'm sure it's a line problem. Yeah. <laughs> we spent the rest of the evening getting organized and worrying about the future. Most of us were in the billiard room, and tempers were running pretty short. Stop writing in that stupid diary! Who's in charge of food? I am. How much money have we left? Enough for one good meal. Tomorrow. And what are we to do after that? A return to our regular occupations, I guess. In Burma? Uh, by the way, where is Burma? Right here. Thanks. When are these phones going to work? Why? Are you, uh, lining up an assignment? None of your beeswax. What is all this? I'm starting my experiments again. I'm developing a plastic fuse for plastic explosives. <laughs> there is a market for that? This one's polyester. You can wash it. <laughs> ah, do you have need of an assistant? Sure. Pass the fabric softener. Oh, yes. Uh, liquid or, or sheets? Yes. And so we set about making a new life for ourselves in Burma. Which, by the way, is in Southeast Asia. At least we gotten away from Inspector Pry. With any luck, we... Lay off the diary! Sorry. Stop and play a round of interrogations. Then take one regular turn before viewing this scene. Good morning. When are we ever going to eat? Soon as Green gets off the phone. I'm ordering Chinese. For breakfast? It's our last meal, so you'd better enjoy it. Get off the phone! Listen, 200 k hats a week and I'll leave your little laundry business alone. Otherwise... Doesn't anyone there speak English? English? Oh. Uh, foreigners. Got a proposition for you. Not interested. A Wingho's restaurant? Hello. I need a partner, someone who speaks the language. I do not speak Burmese. No, but you speak Chinese. I need you to put the pressure on. What makes you think I speak Chinese? I am Swiss. It is a little country with hills. Oh. Europe, I think. Scarlet, dear, uh, help me. You speak Chinese. Swiss. I speak Swiss. Oh. Uh, Wing Ho, that's six orders, chop, suey. Uh, chop, suey. Uh, four orders, fried rice. Um, have you got?
got that? <sighs> no way can we make a living in this poor dunk. Speak for yourself. If we could just get back to where we belong. Excuse me. Some of us don't give up so quickly. Yeah. Hey, sir, Miss Scarlet here. Uh, is it? Uh, you just came for her. I'll see that she gets it. All right, thanks. Thanks. Is this what we've been working all night on? <laughs> How do we know it works? We'll have to test one of them. Test an explosive? It's just a fuse. <laughs> I'll show you. Good morning, Miss Scarlet. Welcome to Rangoon. We have intercepted certain top secret documents and reduced them to microfilm. Stop it, a diary! It, it's not a diary. Your mission will be to courier this microfilm to mainland China. If you pardon me. Await further instructions. This tape will self-destruct. Terrific! I invented that, you know. Self-destructing tape. Let's get on with it. All right, here, break this in half. Now put it in the dish quickly. <laughs> it works! Some big deal. A big deal that'll make me rich polyester fuses and timing devices. They're completely undetectable. <laughs> Plus they never need ironing. Hey, what the with the key? Stop and play a round of interrogations. Then take one regular turn before viewing this scene. Good day, gentlemen. <laughs> Care to join me in the snot? <laughs> Take anything you got. I'm starving. Mm. A little hair of the dog, Monsieur Burnett? Uh, why not? Yeah, celebrating, perhaps? No more of these blasted financial wells. Uh, uh, promise not to tell. Uh, you have found a way to make money in Rangoon? Mm, I shouldn't say. You, you can trust us, Colonel. Of course. Well, Scarlett and I... I've got a new assignment. Spy work? All we have to do is curry a piece of microfilm into mainland China. It sounds easy. There is money in these little errands? Oh, scads of it. You just drop off the documents and pick up your doll. <laughs> Anyone can do that. <laughs> well, I must get myself downstairs. Scarlet's filling me in with the details. Not so fast, Colonel. 50-50? You got it. <laughs> I say, Chuck, this is monsters! This is going to help get her a husband? The Burmese upper class, they're very traditional. Peacock knows all about husbands. <laughs> very nice. I'm not the kind to give up easily. Colonel Mustard? Oh, I think that's him in the corner. Are we alone? Shh. Good. The microfilm will be dropped off any time now. It is hidden inside a fortune cookie so as not to arouse suspicion. Good show. Very much money is at stake here. Beep, beep. The messenger does not know us, but I gave him our descriptions over the phone. He will give the fortune cookie to you or me only. Hi, sorry to disturb you. Got any phones to fix in here? Oh, <laughs> I see you're busy, huh? Uh, you know, if I might make a suggestion, uh, oh, I, I don't mean to interfere, but uh, if I was you, uh, I wouldn't tie them ropes so tight, huh? Yeah, uh, let me show you what I mean, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know how you hate it when people butt in, eh? <laughs> hey! Enjoy yourself, huh? <laughs> 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 
No tippy. Sorry. Look what's arrived. Breakfast time. Let's corral everyone into the dining room before it cools. You go ahead. I've got a little dressing up to do first. Breakfast time! Everybody into the dining room! Stop and play a round of interrogations. Then take one regular turn before viewing this scene. Now what? <laughs> we stuff her in a closet and quick. Colonel Mustard's got to be here when the microfilm arrives. Julie, look! <laughs> Is there a Miss Scarlet here? I am Scarlet, you swine. Give me microfilm. I don't know what could have happened. Did you check all your pockets? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I must have mislaid it somewhere. Was it so valuable? Whoever gets his hands on that fuse will make a mint. Good. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, I don't know about you, but I'm famished. Yeah? All right, let me hold this for you. Huh? Huh. Doesn't smell like chop suey. Perhaps a Burmese variation. Ah, ah hey, this must be dessert. Oh, I haven't had a bite since we arrived. I could devour a whole. Oh, just smell that. What is it? Uh, it was, uh, it was nice all you people to invite me. Huh? What exactly did you order? Scarlet, I presume. Hi there, sugar. Well, you won't ask me why you're dressed like that. Thanks. Because we know. Where's the microfilm, you little sneak? I haven't got it. Oh, there's such a great talking. It's in one of those white boxes. You silly fool. Hold on. All we have to do is find the box with a fortune cookie in it. Well, it's not my fault. Then whose fault is it? They misunderstood my English. Right now, I'll eat anything. Eleven boxes of fortune cookies. You thieving hippopotamus. I suppose you want... I want that microfilm now. <laughs> Help yourself. <laughs> uh, have a good time. Has anyone seen Scarlet? Something I can help you with? The microfilm is on one of these fortunes. Start looking. Right out. What could have happened to that fuse? Ah, no hiding it for later. Oh! Stop and play a round of interrogations. Then take one regular turn before viewing this scene. We couldn't have eaten them all. Uh, I mean, uh, there must oh. have been one that was uh, uneatable. That was delicious. Every <laughs> single last cookie. Oh, oh, I really yeah. gorged myself. I, mean, I wonder why the others didn't join in, huh? Religious reasons, I expect. Uh, could have happened to it. <laughs> Can I ask a, a stupid question? Well, I ought to cut your stomachs out, all three of you. I say, Scarlet, there it is. Out of my way, you swine! Yeah. <laughs> well, break it open. We can all take the microfilm to China. And split the money five ways. I have a question. Very well, break it open. What kind of a cookie you is this? see that. There's nothing in oh. there. We checked every cookie. Where's the microfilm? Excuse me. Exactly what does microfilm look like? Oh, the idiot child must have thrown it out. <laughs> that afternoon we came to a painful conclusion. We're not very good at this crime stuff. Brunette made the same suggestion he always makes. 
about going straight. Brunette is right. I am tired of being on the run. You, Scarlet? I always wanted to settle down. Open a little gas station. <laughs> We'd all be a lot better off if we stopped trying to swindle each other and just went legit. I always wanted to teach at charm school. <laughs> all right. Then it's settled. I want to see all the weapons on the bar right now. That's a good idea. Give up our weapons? Let me think about this. Weak-willed scoundrels. It is the one way we can trust each other. Colonel Mustard. Is this really necessary? It will be a fresh start. It's a relief not to have to lug these things around anymore. I've always been opposed to violence, I think. It's a change. At least I won't always have to be suspicious of you creeps. There must be dozens of real occupations. What was that? Someone got in the building! Oh. How did he ever find us? What is that mountain up to now? What's it say? Let me see! He's offering rewards! Oh, well, oh. I suppose it's nice to be wanted. Dead or alive? Whose reward is the biggest? Uh, no, 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 no. No more conniving and backstabbing. Everyone, please. We are promised to go straight for our own good. He's trying to pit us against each other. What does he expect? We will kill each other off for a you thousand dollars. <laughs> 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 what makes you? Stop the tape. And keep taking turns. There are no more interrogation rounds, but you can still ask a question on your regular turn.